All right, guys. Welcome to a discussion on the best meal plan. It's actually basically one meal that gets tweaked with little variations and it's basically always the same. There's no need to have a different meal every day and actually it's healthy for the body if the meal is good to have a very similar meal every day. The body becomes more efficient and then there are of course a few tricks to it. So let's dive into it. This meal is based on the four five uh, four one ratio of the human mature human breast milk and um, it has several advantages and also I have to say that this meal is um, designed to um, serve people who are quite active if instead you want to lose weight then uh, the meal would have to be adjusted and maybe I will address that in the end of the video. So let me just quickly scroll down to show you here is this very nice function. If I go over it, it has 39% carbs, 51% fat and 10% protein. That's almost exactly as the human milk ratio. But we will go into these uh, things later. Now, first of all, there is a drink, some tea in the morning, maybe some kombucha um, for the, you know, fermented um, micronutrients and so on, and a uh, Shilajit capsule. Actually, I'm not using the capsule. I have the thick liquid form, which I mix with Himalaya salt, but since that's not so easily to express here, I chose to put the capsule. Shilajit is um, natural um, organic minerals from the earth. You can research that please yourself. It is completely amazing substitute because um, all the soils are depleted and even the organic foods, if you can get organic foods, which is not really possible everywhere for everyone, are not always full of the nutrients as they should be. Then um, here are six olives and three leaf salad before each main meal. And that comes also with um, some kelp powder, Himalayan pink salt and black salt, um, which all have some special nutrients. And I make a mix of these three ingredients and put a little bit of that on the salad. If possible, try to get olives without any salt because usually the salt that is used is not so good. So here we have 12 olives, but we divide them as an appetizer before each meal. Then we come to the main meal. I have here bee pollen, which I actually, after the preparation, sprinkle over the meal. Um, yeah, and then the actual preparation of the meal starts with the spring water and lemon juice, which may be a little bit more juice of one lemon, you know, it's something between 50 and 100 gram, depending on the size and juiciness. Then I have here Kakubella coconut yogurt, natural, um, 10 gram, maybe it's 20 gram, I don't care. Um, it's just to activate the mix, which is going to soak overnight. Then after that, I add black pepper, turmeric, ginger powder, and also some cinnamon. Make sure you take the good cinnamon, the, I think it's the Cylon cinnamon, the one with the thin, thin fibers, not the thick bulk one. Um, yeah, and then I have a mix that I already pre-mixed, so I don't have to measure all these parts here every day. So it's a mix of spirulina, chlorella, um, ashwagandha or maca, um, something of that sort for the tissue building. There's also a nice Ayurvedic mix, it's called Datu Paustik um, mix, which uh, 
contains several of these powders. Then barley grass powder, nutritional yeast, which has um, several vitamin Bs and also a lot of um, proteins. So yeah, the um, hemp seeds, which contain all uh, important amino acids as well as, um, how to say, uh, omega-3s, etc. Then flaxseed again, um, you know, this um, slimy substances which are really good for the intestine, intestinal movement and also again omega-3s even though they are not the DHA, but the ALA. Um, so that's another subject to the conversion of the omegas, which we will address maybe a little bit later. I have to switch off this screen program. It's a bit annoying to me. Okay. So and I can also close this messenger. So then, it's, it all gets soaked and the chia seeds, which have a lot of nutrients, good carbohydrates, again, omega-3s, oat flakes, a lot of uh, amino acids, some proteins and also carbohydrates, hazelnuts, which are a good source of monounsaturated fat. Um, that is um, important because monounsaturated fats are important for energy. We will address this later on in the discussion of the micronutrients, which I will put in video part two. And then again, in the soaking, there will be prunes, which have a lot of good nutrients as well as good for the movement of the bowels. So these uh, will be soaked overnight. And then in the next morning, before actually preparing the meal completely. The fresh ingredients will be added. 100 gram fresh apple with skin, chopped. Banana 100 gram, carrots 50 gram, celery root uh, 50 gram, pastinac, um, I'm not 100% sure what's the English name for it, and pickled beets, each 50 gram. Then 20 gram ginger root, three tablespoon of olive oil, which is again, rich in antioxidants and monounsaturated fat, which is good for energy and coconut oil, which has some um, monotriglycerides for energy and also has um, saturated fats, which are again, important for um, many building blocks of hormones, etc. Then we have again, uh, four half walnuts um, for many things, good for the brain, more omega-3s and actually the macadamia nuts, um, I don't put them in the mix now. I take them with the dessert down here. Quick adjustment, I didn't do that yet. Um, and uh, one Brazil nut, every day has many good uh, ingredients and especially selenium. I don't remember exactly from the top of my head what it's uh, useful for, um, but it's very essential. You know, this, this meal plan um, is completely designed to have as much of um, micronutrients and micronutrients, of course, from natural sources as possible. So it's it's near to perfect. Um, there is no perfection in the material world, but um, especially in Kali Yuga, but it's really, really awesome. Um, but I don't remember everything from the top of my head. So yeah, this um, all of these ingredients then get mixed with the blender stick. I don't know what's the proper English word for that. And um, heated up to maybe 40 or 50 degrees so that the ingredients stay intact, but you have a nice, warm, easily digestible meal. And after that, we have the desserts, uh, Trapa Intenso 80% Moa chocolate. It's a Spanish brand of chocolate. Of course, you can take any other brand as well, but this is really tasty and 
they also have variations uh, with natural sweeteners like stevia, um, macadamia nuts, so one for each meal. So yeah, this is for two, two meals, so you divide it into two. And cranberries, um, which are good for many things, uh, especially the urogenital tract and anti-infectionous, um, et cetera, et cetera. And then again, um, Q celery leaves, which have so many good properties also um, for the pH and for detoxification. And, you know, uh, we do that every day and it's just amazing. So yeah, that's that's the quick overview. And I think I have to do another video for the micronutrients discussion. See you there. Your comments and questions are as always most welcome.